Hey everyone, Video4BT here. Today I want to show you how you can relink missing media or replace existing media that's on your timeline with something else that you would rather have in that spot. So let's get started. So let's say you finished a project and you wanted to put it on a different hard drive or put it all in a different folder or organize it differently. So if we were to do that, let's see what would happen. So let's just put all of these in a new folder and let's call it um, clips. Once you do that, you won't see anything happen immediately, but once you go back to Premiere and click, it'll say all these shots are missing. Additionally, if you were to open up a project and stuff was moved, you would have a locating media window pop up and it looks similar to this and you would have to link the media. So to do that, you just you know click on the first one, go to locate, and then it'll it'll try and guess where it might be. If not, you're gonna have to go into the directory and find it yourself. But basically you just need to tell Premiere where those those files got moved to. So let's go inside here. And as you, as you can see, it has all our clips in here. So since we selected Beat Shot 1, let's just check this box right here to display only exact name matches. And there it is. So go ahead and highlight it by clicking and hit OK. And because we have this checked right here, relink others automatically, it will relink everything else that has been lost that can be found in that same directory. So let's go ahead and hit OK once we have highlighted this clip. And there you go. It is all found. So that's how you relink missing media. Now to replace something on your timeline that maybe like you updated a graphic or you know you had a watermark in this song like so, listen right here. So if we wanted to you know use a temp track with a watermark and then later you end up liking the track and you want to go back and purchase it, so all you gotta do is right click on the file that you'd want to replace. So to find it, you would go to reveal and project. You know, if you have a ton of assets, then this is the best way to find it, fastest way. And then you wanna right click when you're in your bin and go down to replace footage. And since I have bought the version of the song already, I'm gonna go to it and this is the actual song with no watermark. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK and I'm going to keep this checked so it renames it to the official title of the file name. So hit open and there you go it's been renamed and if you take a listen the watermark is removed. It's important to know that as long as the the length of the music track stays the same and it hits the beats where it did on the temp track then it won't change however i ran into some music tracks that you know they may start a couple seconds later and you're gonna have to go in and do it manually but for the most part this is how i do it and it, it works very well so let's say you had a graphic that you want to replace maybe you know a client want to change the color of a logo or something and you made all these edits with that file it's really easy all you gotta do is similar to the music file, right click, reveal in project, and there it is. Replace footage, and you find it. So let's go and this, they want the black one now, or the one with the black stroke. So go ahead and hit open, and as you can see, it automatically changes. And just like that, you went in and replaced the footage rather than doing it the, the long way, which is, you know, deleting that and bring it into your bin, importing it, clicking and dragging it, and you know scaling it to what you had it before. It saves a lot of time to do it this way. 